In this lesson, I'll show you how to recover a matrix from its row reduced echelon form matrix. The question reads, assume that the matrix B has a row reduced echelon form of the following. If the first and second columns of matrix B are these two, respectively, find the missing third column. So matrix B currently looks like this before it was converted into RREF, where you have the first column being 1, 1, 2, the second column being 2, 3, 5, and the last column has three unknown elements. I'll call them A, B, and C. They will be our unknowns. And this matrix B has been row reduced down to this one. So this has become 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 0. The method that we will use to solve for A, B, and C is to row reduce B down to what we see here, assuming that these are filled with numbers. If that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So the very first thing that I want to do is make sure that this element and that element are zero so that it corresponds to what we have here. So I'll take row one and subtract row two. That is, row one will remain the way it is and row two will be changed based on that operation. So I'll rewrite one, two, A. One minus one is zero. Two minus three is negative one. A minus B is A minus B. And row three remains the way it is. Now I want to make this two into a zero. So I'll multiply row one by two and subtract row three. Here's how that works. First and foremost, row one and row two are left unchanged, so I'll rewrite them. And now our new row three will be two times one minus two is zero. Two times two minus five is negative one. Two times A minus C is two A minus C. So it's starting to look like this one. Okay, now I want to make sure that this element is positive one, as you can see over here. So I'll multiply all of row two by negative one. And this gives me the following. Zero, positive one, B minus A, and that remains unchanged. The next operation that I will perform is by adding row two to row three. And what this will do is eliminate this negative one so that it becomes a zero. Again, row one and row two will remain unchanged. So let's rewrite them. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus negative one is zero. And B minus A plus two A minus C, I'm doing the work on the side here, gives us B plus A minus C, B plus A minus C. The next thing that I will do is eliminate this two so that it becomes a zero as shown over here. So I'll multiply row two by a factor of two and subtract row one. Row two and row three remain unchanged. Let me show you that. Two times zero is zero, minus one is negative one. Two times one is two, minus two is zero. B minus A times two, minus A, which simplifies two, two B minus two A minus A, which is two B minus three A. Two B minus three A. And as you can see, this is negative one, so we'll multiply row one by negative one, and that should give us what we're looking for. One, zero, three A minus two B, and the rest are unchanged. Now, just for reference, I have shown the RREF over here. And as you can see, B plus A minus C is equal to zero. This element is equal to zero. I'll solve for any one of these variables. I'll solve for C. So B plus A is equal to positive C. That's one of our equations. 
Another one of our equations is the fact that b minus a is equal to negative 2. And our last equation will relate this element to 1, where we have 3a minus 2b is equal to 1. Now we have to solve another system of equations with three unknowns. You can do this by hand or you can use your calculator. Let me show you how to do it by hand. I'll solve for a in this equation. So I'll call this 1, 2, and 3. Solving for a in this equation gives us b plus 2 is equal to a. I'll substitute that now into equation number 1. So I'm doing this a little bit informally, but you can follow along easily because these are simple equations. b plus b plus 2 is equal to c, which gives us 2b plus 2 is equal to c. I'll box this in because it is important. Now, I'll substitute what we found for a, b plus 2, into here. 3 bracket b plus 2 minus 2b is equal to 1, and this will give us what b is equal to. 3b plus 6 minus 2b is equal to 1. Collecting like terms, we get b is equal to 1 minus 6. b, therefore, is equal to negative 5. We found b. That is the second element of that unknown column. We'll substitute this into there where we have 2 times negative 5 plus 2 is equal to c. That's negative 10 plus 2 is equal to c. And that is equal to negative 8. So we found another element in that unknown column. And to find a is as simple as substituting negative 5 into there, which gives us an a value that is equal to negative 3. Therefore, our unknown column will have the elements negative 3, negative 5, and negative 8. And there you have it. One example on how you can recover a matrix from RREF. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you for watching.